All right, what's up, YouTube? So we're back with another custom video today, and so today's gonna be a first for me. So we're making a pair of baby custom Air Forces, and so we're making a pair to match his dad's pair. So these pair are getting baby Swervo on them, and his dad's pair is gonna get Swervo on them. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and prep the shoes, and then we're gonna get some stencils laid down, and we're gonna be doing a gradient from red, white to blue on these. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to prepping the shoes. All right, so now that we got both pairs of shoes prepped and we got that factory glaze off, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and design up the stencils that we're gonna be playing down. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape them up and get our paints mixed and get ready to airbrush. All right, so now what we're doing is designing the stencils that we're gonna be making. So I'm doing this in silhouette. So we're gonna go ahead and get these designs ready and then go ahead and cut them out on some adhesive vinyl and get them laid down for some stencils.
Alright y'all, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some drips coming down from the Nike checks in the same fade. Alright, so I wanted to take a second and show you guys a little tip to get cleaner lines on your stencil work or any tape jobs. So I'm gonna be using my B Air Force to show you guys this, but so let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so what I wanted to show you guys is when you're laying down tape or anything like a stencil or something like that and you gotta get clean edges, what you should do is you shouldn't, like, say we're trying to get a clean edge up against this Nike swoosh. You don't want to put it on like this and get it all locked down and then try to get it. Because you're actually going to still have that tiny gap right there. So what I like to do is instead of getting the bottom to tack down already, just get the top on like that. And then push this in and up into that crease like that. And then once you have that, then go back and get the other pieces of the tape flush and look how much tighter that is. So that's just something I wanted to share and hopefully that helps you guys out with your customizations. All right, so here's another little tip. I don't know if this is common knowledge or not, but it's something that I do when I'm doing the paint shields. And so when I'm trying to tape off an area, instead of having to tape up the whole entire shoe and lock this down over top of this, I like to just leave it standing up sort of like a wall so that it'll just completely block the other side of the shoe so I don't actually have to tape up the whole entire shoe. All right, so I think what I've decided to do is I'm not actually gonna do the same exact fade. So I'm not gonna go blue to red. I'm actually gonna go on this one, I'm gonna do red to blue so that it fades from red to blue back to red and then on the other one i'm going to do the opposite so i'm going to go so since this was blue to red i'm going to go red to blue so it goes blue to red to blue 